So when my family gets together, we enjoy playing games. And in this program, we're going to be playing a museum trivia game. If you're watching on Facebook Live, there is a delay between the Zoom room and where we are now. So if you'd like to play along with us live, I encourage you to join us in the Zoom room now. The link is gonna get posted to the message board on Facebook. So follow that link and come over if you wanna play live. We'll give you a couple moments just to get over here. You can also, if you're gonna watch the recording and you're watching it later, just grab a pencil and paper and keep track of your score as we go. So now I can get officially started. Welcome to Family Day Online with the Royal BC Museum. My name is Kim Goff and I'm a learning program developer at the Royal BC Museum. I'm coming to you today from the museum, which is located on the territories of the Lekwungen known today as the Songhees and Esquimalt First Nations here in Victoria, British Columbia. When we talk about Family Day, I'm grateful to the many, many generations of Lekwungen people who have cared for this land and I honor their families who continue here to this day. Our first program today is Museum Trivia and we'll be playing using the platform Kahoot. If you wanna play along, you'll need another to open another window on your browser, or you can use another device like a smartphone or tablet. That'll give you a keypad so you can answer your questions. You can join at www.kahoot.it, or if you already have the app on your phone, you can open that now. All right, so here in the Zoom room, we will post the pin into the chat so you can enter that pin now. And it's going to ask you to enter a nickname. So that can be a nickname. You can use your name if you want. Uh, you can use um, uh, a name, a nickname, your name, a <laughs> nickname. And of course you can play as a team too. So let's share that screen and we'll spotlight our interpreter so that we can continue to see her as we talk. We've got Robin and Shima, Mouse, Nancy. All right, it looks like we are ready to get started. First, you're gonna see the question and I'll read it aloud. You'll then have 30 seconds to make your guess. So how old is the Royal BC Museum? Is it about 25 years old? About and 50 just years look, old? But you know, we're not seeing the Kahoot, we're seeing uh, your screen with your notes. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> Let me fix that. <laughs> <laughs> Should be seeing this. So make your guess. Ooh, okay. Next, let's check out what's next. The museum is about 100 years old. It was started in 1886. Oh, only one person got that right. <laughs> Let's carry on. Question number two. Before our current location on Belleville Street, where was the museum located? Bastion Square, the Supreme Court Building, East Wing of the Legislative Building, third floor of Eaton Center. The correct answer is the East Wing of the Legislative Building. So that was the museum's first home. Okay, the scoreboard is changing. We've got some people moving up. Now, I should say the faster you answer, the higher the score you can get. True or false? True or false, the Royal BC Museum's first curator came to BC as a gold prospector. So I did say the museum was about 100 years old, closer to 130. Do you think they were a gold prospector? 
The answer is true, yes. John Fannin first came to British Columbia during the gold rush and was uh, later the museum's very first curator. Let's say how that ch uh, changes our scoreboards. Ooh, we've got some people moving up in the categories. Well done, everybody. Okay, quiz question. Which of the following natural history collections at the Royal BC Museum is the largest? Is it invertebrates? Those are animals without backbones. Is it botany? That's plants. Mammals. Those are animals with hair on their body, they breathe air. Is it ichthyology? That's fish. Oh, there's a hint. Let's try that. The largest collection at the Royal BC Museum is the invertebrate collection. And later today, there's going to be a tower tour and we're gonna to get to go and see some of those collections. So hopefully you join us for that one. All right, let's get our next question. Which of the following extinct mammals can be found in the Royal BC Museum's mammal collection? Is it a T-Rex? Is it a passenger pigeon? Dawson's caribou or the dodo bird. Which of these is a mammal? That might help if you're having a, a moment. The correct answer is Dawson's caribou. The Dawson caribou lived in Haida Gwaii. All right. Ooh, we've got some more movement on the scoreboard. Good work, everyone, keep it up. Now, where do we score store insects in the entomology collection? Are insects stored on pins? Are they stored in little jars of liquid? Are they stored in special envelopes or all of the above? What do you think? The answer is all of the above. So insects are kept on little pins. Pins get poked through them. Sometimes they're kept in a little jar of liquid or a special little envelope too to keep them safe. So lots of ways. Oh, Robin's now at the top of the leaderboard. Good job, Robin. Next quiz question. Which of the following is not part of the human history collections at the Royal BC Museum? Which of these would you not find in the human history collection? Would you find mammoth bones, fur trade artifacts, tools, or vehicles? Which one would not be there? If you guess mammoth bones would not be in the natural history, the human history collection, you are correct. Find mammoth bones in our collection of earth history. Oh, we've got a little bit of movement. Nancy's moving up, good job. All right, next quiz question. Which item of clothing do we have the least of in our human history collections. Do we have the fewest hats? Do we not have a lot of underwear? Do we not have a lot of dresses? Do we not have a lot of shoes? What do you think? There's a picture hint coming. I'm gonna guess underwear. That's right, there is not a lot of underwear in the human history collection. People just don't keep their underwear or think it's very special. <laughs> so if you think you're gonna be famous one day, maybe keep some socks. All right, which of the following would not be part of the Gold Rush collections? Would you find a miner's license? How about a shovel, a wristwatch, or rubber boots? What would not be part of the Gold Rush collections? Somebody in the Gold Rush, hmm, what would they not have? Oh, the hint, 
the hint is there. So they would not have, or we wouldn't have a wristwatch in the Gold Rush collections. And that's because wristwatches weren't popular until the First World War in the early 1900s. Okay, that was a tricky one. I admit it, that one was tricky. Let's see what the next question is. True or false? The mandate of the Royal BC Museum is to collect items from around the world. Is that true? It's the mandate of the Royal BC Museum to collect items from the entire world. True or false? Hmm. Let's go with false. That's the correct answer. So the mandate of the Royal BC Museum is to collect objects and items from BC, from British Columbia. How did people do on that one? Not too badly. We've got some more movement on that board. Okay, for those IMAX fans, which of the following is not an IMAX movie? Great Bear Rainforest, Baby Shark, Antarctica, or dolphins? Hmm. Baby Shark is not yet an IMAX movie, but it is a good song. How did we do? Oh, Mouse is moving up. Robin is still in the lead. Are you all ready for the next question? I know you are. Let's go for it. True or false? The IMAX screen at the Royal BC Museum is the largest in British Columbia. Is it the largest in British Columbia? That'd be really, really big. Hmm, true or false? Time is counting down. The answer is true. It is the largest screen in BC. So you want to come enjoy those IMAX movies there. Today, we are going to have an IMAX movie though as part of Family Day. So at uh, one o'clock, you can join us for a Family Day movie. Next question. Which of the following would you not find in the BC archives? Would you not find maps? Would you not find photographs? Would you not find fossils? Or would you not find government records? So BC archives is here right beside the Royal BC Museum. Lots of interesting things inside but one of those things is not fossils. There are no fossils in the BC archives. How did we do? Do we trick anybody with that one? Oh, it looks like lots of right answers there. Good job, everybody. Okay, question 14. Oh, we're getting close to done already. True or false? You need to be a librarian to visit the BC archives. So who can visit the BC archives? Do you think it's just librarians? you would answer true. If you think other people can visit the BC archives, you would select false. So what are you thinking out there? Hmm. The answer is false. You do not need to be a librarian to come to the BC archives, but librarians are welcome. Everyone's welcome. You just need to come and register as a researcher and then you can access the, live, the archives. If you're under 18, come with a parent or guardian and you can come in together. All right, a little bit of movement. Robin and Mouse still at the top. Good job. Question 15. What are the trees in the Natural History Gallery made out of? So we visited the Royal BC Museum. You know we have a beautiful gallery that's a forest diorama. There are some trees in there. Are they made of fiberglass, 
paper mache, carved styrofoam, or wood? Hmm. What are you thinking? If you guessed fiberglass, you are correct. Good job. So the trees that are upstairs in the Natural History Gallery, they were cast from real trees in different forests around British Columbia. And they look fantastic. Take a closer look next time you're here at those trees. All right, Robin still in the lead. Wow. Can Robin be dethroned? Last question. What is your favorite thing about the Royal British Columbia Museum or about visiting the galleries? Is it the lifelike environments, seeing the collection, time with family and friends, or do you like it all? What do you like the most? Maybe it's something we didn't put down here. You can type that into the chat. Or if you're watching on Facebook, you can type your favorite thing into the comment section. All right, what is it? I think I like it all, personally. Right, and there we are. So let us see who got to the top. In third place is Shima. Second place, Mouse. And first, I think it's got to be, yes, it's Robin. Congratulations to everyone who played. Now we have more family fun coming up today. So at 11 a.m. you can join us for a tower tour. This will be a 30 minute behind the scenes visit into our collection. Join us live and you can help decide where we go and what we see. At 12 p.m., join us for Family Recipes. Our guest, Daniela Pinto, is going to show us how to make a Brazilian treat called Brigadeiro. I don't know if I said that right. The ingredients are online if you want to bake along. At 1 p.m., you and your family can watch a virtual IMAX presentation of dolphins. It should be lots of fun. So the Natural History Galleries of the Royal BC Museum are open and ready to welcome you. You can find out more on our website about opening hours, tickets, and exhibits. Thanks for joining me for Family Day, everyone. Bye-bye.